in order to keep your customers happy, you need to provide a good support. Because a happy customers mean more repeated sales. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what is the best live chat or chat box plugin for WordPress. For example, as you see, here's a nice chat box. I can use it for asking questions. If the operator is offline, I can open up a support ticket with it. But that's not all, because if I go to the shop page, for example, this one here, it also opens up a special offer. I can order the product or I can open up the bot and browse through the products. I can add the product to the cart, as you see, and works like a charm. And that's not it. If I go to the terms and conditions page, automatically the chatbot opens up. As you see, I can ask about shipping. Chatbot answers. I can start over and ask about tracking. Once again, chatbot answers. Awesome, isn't it? It's really easy to set it up. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. So if you're interested, then jump in. Now, in order to accomplish all that, I need to sign up to the service called TDO, the one you see on the screen right now. So what's a TDO? It's a simple, affordable and very capable customer relationship management tool. It offers you a combination of a live chat and chatbots. Basically, it's a solution for those people who want a straightforward way to engage uh, with the customers on a website or maybe even a social network in order to increase sales, collect leads and deliver excellent customer service. If we open up the pricing, you'll see that you can start for free. It has a free plan, no credit card details required. And you can use it for unlimited time before you decide whether to upgrade to a plan that makes more sense for you. So basically you can mix match upgrade or downgrade or change your plans at any time. If you take a look at the premium plans, take a look at the comparison table here and you'll see what is what. Now these are the official pricing plans. But if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a link. And if you're using this link, then you'll get TDO for 20% off for all the premium plans. But pay attention that this special offer will only be applied when you purchase a plan using my link. So nice discount for you. I have been using TDO for a couple of weeks now and I'm really pleased with it because it's easy to set up and easy to use and also they have an amazing customer support. And since good customer support is really important for me, I tested it a bit. That means I sent them a couple of questions and received answers within a couple of hours. So that's good. Okay, so let's get started. That means let's create an account here. If you have more than one site, then don't worry, later you can add them also. Let's get started. First, you can configure a live chat appearance. If you don't want to do that, then you can do it later. You can select your language. If you don't see your own language here, don't worry, you can add it also later. Let's continue. What's your main focus? Choose the one you like. I'm going to choose all four. Number of support agents. For me, it's one. For you, it may be more. Industry, services, number of inquiries. I'm going to choose something. If you would like to set up your first chatbot, you can do it here. Choose the one you like the most. I'm going to select the first one here. Now you can choose how to connect your WordPress site, whether to use a code here. But if you're using WordPress, then choose the one here and click on continue. Once again, choose WordPress. And now I'm going to log into my site. I'm going to go to the plugins, add new. Search for Tidio, this one here. As you see, more than 100,000 active installations and five-star reviews. Once again, it's an awesome plugin. Let's install it. Activate it. Now let's go to the TDO chat here. Already have an account, log in. And now log in using the credentials you used for creating your account. Log in. Select the project. If you have more than one project, then you can select those here. Maybe you have more than one site, then all those sites are appearing here and you just select the integration. Since I'm using WooCommerce on this site, I'm going to also integrate WooCommerce. Approve. And done. Now we open up my site. You'll see that chatbot is here. Live chat also here. 
and I can start chatting. I'm going to introduce myself. Send and done. Now if I go to my TDO panel, open up the chat, unassigned, then it's here. And I'm going to join the conversation. Easy peasy. Now in order to keep this tutorial short, I'm not going to go over all the settings and options you have here. Because the purpose of this video was just to display how to set it up. If you would like to know how to set up the chatbots, then take a look at the description of this video because I have made another video and in it I'm going to take a closer look at the chatbots. At the moment let's take a look at what's happening here. Some of the most important things for you to know. First, notifications. And I would suggest you to enable it because otherwise you may miss some incoming chats. So enable it. Next, all the chats are located under this inbox. Unassigned means there is a chat no one has been joined yet. Your open chats, that means the one here. If you reply something, then it shows here. If your customer already types something, but the message hasn't been sent yet, you'll see the preview what has typed. This allows you to prepare for the quicker answer. If you would like to open up a ticket based on this chat, then you can do it here, add a ticket. Give it a title, priority. If you have more than one operator, then you can assign the person for it. Add your message and if it's an internal note, that means the customer doesn't see it, then choose this one here, submit and done. All the tickets are here. If you want to manage all the emails, then connect your email here, add it here, connect it and then you can receive the emails. You can also integrate with your Facebook Messenger and Instagram, just connect it here or here. If you take a look at the settings, there is also a bunch of integrations available. Facebook, Instagram, email, analytics, pipe drive and so on, MailChimp, send in blue. Just scroll down and see what is what. There are canned responses you can create. For example, if the if it's something about the shipping, then you can open up the canned responses or create a new response. For example, we currently ship only to Estonia. You can add the tags if needed. Info, for example, save. I created a canned response. It's under info. This one here. Reply. And it's here. Also, you can add chatbot. Response is here, but once again, I'm not going to show you in this video how to do that. Take a look at the description of this video. There is another one I made regarding the chatbots. If you're over here, you'll see that there are create a ticket button or add as a canned response. So I can create ticket here or add a canned response also here. You can upload images, display emojis, see the history. You'll see all the pages he or she has visited here. If the visitor visits your WooCommerce pages, maybe ask something, for example, where can I find shoes? Then you can send the product cards using the chat. Let's take a look. Let's send this one here. It appears here. If the visitor clicks, he or she will be redirected to the product page. Oh, and one more thing. You can access your canned responses with a shortcut. Just enter a slash start typing and it appears here. You have more than one site then take a look at that profile here. You can add operators here. You can add other projects. That means other sites here that you can connect your site. Now let's take a look at the settings for a minute. This is a preview of your chat widget. You can customize it here. For example, change the color. Change the text here, this one here, whether to display the button label, that one here. Set up the widget visibility, whether to display on the mobiles or desktops, and so on. And you can create multilingual widgets. Currently I have enabled English, but I can add my own language that is Estonian. Add here, 
Now I'm going to manage it and edit translations, choose the correct language, add your translations. If you need to display the sidebar widget, then enable it here. It displays like this one here. Once again, left or right, color, label, and so on. Basically, you can customize everything here. Let's save it, go to the site, refresh it, and it's done. My chat box is here. Now, as you saw, it's really easy to add a live chat or a chat box to your WordPress site with the help of a TDO. Once again, if you're interested, then take a look at the description of this video because there is a link to the video and it gives you a 20% discount. Now, before you go, wait! If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up, this one here, and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.